In the 1960s, engineers started to think about a completely new type of boat. These new boats would be called hydrofalls and due to its new technology fly right above the water surface. Speeds of almost 100 km an hour were not impossible anymore. This led even Boeing as an aircraft manufacturer to build such a hydrofall. However, these impressive boats seem to have disappeared today. Watch this video until the end to find out what happened to them and follow the channel to miss no more videos. Welcome to a new Aviation Life short documentary. I'm Nicholas and today we're talking about hydrofalls, especially we're talking about Boeing's hydrofalls that were built in the 20th century. Hydrofalls already have a long history which started in the 20th century. Italian engineer Enrico Follini was already working on his first aeronautical designs, including a flying unmanned helicopter. Forlanini was both interested in nautical and aeronautical engineering, so it's no surprise he was one of the first ones to think about hydrofoils. This makes him even today be claimed to be the inventor of what we know today as hydrofoil. In the following years several other engineers came up with similar ideas. But the exact history of hydrofoils is something for another video. In general, hydrofoils have some great benefits to normal boats, which ride on water and waves cause them to drive not really smooth. Also the drag produced by the friction between water and boat makes them quite inefficient. The area where the water touches the boat's belly is too big. Hydrofoils solve exactly this problem. A hydrofoil boat has several wings that are mounted on its belly. At lower speeds the wings don't really have an effect on the boat. But as soon as it's fast enough the wings create lift and the boat starts to move out of the water. The hydrofoil boat now literally flies above the water. Because the boat is not swimming anymore, waves or other movements in the water can barely impact its behavior. The boat will always stay level and won't start wiggling once the waves have reached bigger sizes. Let's start with a quick history lesson. In the early 20th century aviation was seen as a part of nautical engineering, like boats or ships. Flying boats were common until World War II. Boeing was one of the leading manufacturers to build flying boats, like the Model 314 that's still well known today. Maybe that's how Boeing came into the nautical industry. In 1966 Boeing released its first hydrofoil prototype, the USS Tucumcari. Tucumcari, named after a city in New Mexico, was a prototype built for the United States Navy to test the new hydrofoil technology. Just two were built, but the design convinced the Navy to contract Boeing to design the Pegasus class. In the early 1970s, Boeing started to design its first serial produced hydrofoil. It was heavily based on the Tucumcari, which it shares many technologies with. But it was also faster and bigger and reached speeds of up to 90 km an hour. It had a length of 41 meters and a beam which means the maximal width of 8.5 meters. And again, based on the Pegasus class, Boeing developed a series of military hydrofoil boats and even a civilian variant, the Boeing 929 jet foil. The 929 program started in 1972 with the goal of building a ferry that can comfortably transport passengers at high speeds. During development, Boeing reused many technologies and designs from its latest passenger jets. Back then, hydrofoils were seen as possible successors for existing boats. With the hydrofoil technology used, the ride with the 929 was a lot smoother than with most other boats, which wiggled through the waves. The Boeing Jetfall, on the other hand, glided through the water on its wings. This gave passengers the feeling to fly. Boeing itself built a total number of 28 jet foils for several customers. Their production lasted to 1974 until 1985. Now some technical data and facts. The Boeing 929 jet foil has a total length of 30 meters and a beam of 6 meters. With a maximum cruising speed of 80 km an hour, the jet foil was a lot faster than usual boats. For comparison, typical ferries and cruise ships only reach speeds of up to 40 or 55 km an hour. These impressive speeds were only possible due to the two Rolls-Royce Allison 501 turboprop engines. These engines were originally developed for the Lockheed 730 Hercules aircraft and later adapted for Boeing's hydrofoil boats. Depending on the interior, jetfalls have a capacity of 250 to 350 passengers. Its speed and general characteristics made the Boeing jetfall, as it was then called, the perfect choice for ferry shuttles in Hong Kong, Japan, England, the Canaries, Saudi Arabia and Indonesia. 
worldwide usage of Boeing's jet for led to a licensed production by Chinese and Japanese companies. In the mid-90s, the Shanghai Simno Marine Limited CSSC based in China built two Boeing 99 jet falls in license. Both were operated in Hong Kong until 2020 when one was scrapped and the other one was sold to Mirai Jet in Japan. Kawasaki is known for its many fields of business. The Japanese manufacturer produces aircraft, ships, motorbikes and many important technology products. So also the Boeing jet foil. Kawasaki built a total of 16 boats for the Japanese market, out of which every single one is still in service today. In 2010, Kawasaki Heavy Industries announced that they were willing to restart the production of the jet foil. In 2020, 70% of the existing fleet would already be more than 30 years old and a successor was needed. There was no other boat that was nearly as good in performance as the Boeing jet foil. 10 years later, in March 2020, the first newly built jet foil was ready. It was named Seven Island Yui and now serves the routes between Tokyo and nearby islands. The whole world is built on modern standards. The cockpit features digital instruments and also the steering systems are now digital. Seven Islands Yui gives us an imagination what future regional water transportation can look like. What do you think about hydrofoils? Have you ever been traveling on board one? Write your thoughts in the comments and follow the channel to miss no more future video like this one.